Hello. I just wanted to show you how to enable the automatic captions in PowerPoint, um, which I believe it was Rain Bosworth on Twitter had made a mention of this sort of randomly. She's the only person I've ever seen reference the automatic captions in PowerPoint that are very, very easy to use and better than most automatic captioning systems that you would see like in Zoom or YouTube. So I just wanted to make a little video because I finally enabled it. And now I realize I'm probably going to use it for forever. Um, so uh, yeah, it's pretty straightforward. So let me just share my screen. <clears throat> okay, let's start with that, my PowerPoint here. So this is a lecture that I'm delivering for a course. Um, and, you know, in Apple, at least version of PowerPoint, you've got this little tab here, the home, insert, draw, design, etc. If you go to slideshow, there's this little checkbox all the way on the right. This is always use subtitles. I have now checked it in when it previously it was grayed out. And if you look at the subtitle settings, you know, you can select your language. Um, I guess there's a lot of different spoken language and subtitle language. So I guess this will translate. I have no idea how good the translation is. I have not tested that. I've just kept both languages on English to do automatic transcription for the, um, just for, for those that are um, deaf or hard of hearing, or just for whatever other reason would benefit from having captions, which I think is a variety of groups, not just those that are deaf or hard of hearing. But, um, you know, if you guys have ever watched Netflix and turn on the captions, even though you've got normal hearing, uh, you're like me sometimes where I just find it useful. Um, and, you know, obviously people that are watching your talk or your your class might be non-native speakers of English. It just seems like a good idea to have captions. Um, so one thing that is that when I enabled it, it was like, oh, you have to, there's some setting that you have to, um, that you have to be able to uh, enable for security for your microphone. And I was like, what is that? It like took me a little minute to figure out. So let me, um, let me change, uh, my sharing preference. Let's see. Cause it's kind of sometimes weird to show this, um, system preferences on zoom. So I'm going to share my system preferences. So you see here, privacy and security. Um, yeah. So what this new version of, uh, Mac OS X, if you go down to privacy and security, then you've got your different apps and uh, devices and such. And if you go to microphone, I have a external microphone that I use, um, which is good quality. And so I think it was because I'm using this external microphone, I had to change the preferences for the apps that are allowed to access the microphone. And for some reason, PowerPoint down here was the only one that was not checked for some reason. I don't know why. Um, so maybe because all those other, um, apps are like using the microphone a lot by, by nature of the app, whereas might be PowerPoints unusual. And I just hadn't interacted with that before, but anyways, I had to check this. Um, like when I, like when I first checked it, it did this little message, like you have to quit and reopen PowerPoint. Um, so you just go ahead and do that and make sure that that's working. Um, and now let me go back to PowerPoint and I'll show you how awesome the captions are. So basically the captions turn on when you start your slideshow. And then you see here under the subtitle settings, like the, let's see, let's try bottom overlaid. I've been using bottom uh, a below slide. I'm gonna try bottom overlaid and see how that looks. So I start my slideshow and you see here, um, that the captions are starting to appear below. And it'll automatically adjust like that to fix the translation to make it more realistic. And I think that's one of the things that makes it superior relative to um, the automatic transcription in like YouTube or uh, Zoom is that it looks, when I'm looking at this transcription and these captions, it reminds me of when there's been a live captioner who is like automatically typing what the speaker is saying and going back and like editing and changing. seems like that's a really tough job. Um, uh, and, you know, like you notice here, I changed that sentence and I put the period in and updated it. 
So obviously there's a little bit of a delay, but it's relatively quick. It seems pretty accurate. You guys can read these captions that are being generated right now. And you can see that um, it's not too far behind from what I'm saying. And um, it seems pretty on point. Um, let me try, I'm gonna test it now by using some proper names or unusual terms. Like today we're gonna be talking about phonetics and phonology in COMD 570, Introduction to Language Development. Yeah, you notice here it says genetics rather than phonetics. Although you notice it got it right the second time. And I, yeah, I said, although you noticed it got it right the second time. So it's not perfect. Um, let's try some proper names. Uh, Chomsky and Skinner had a battle to the death over the field of linguistics and uh, generative syntax and behaviorism. Not bad. <laughs> okay, not bad. <laughs> anyway, um, so I hope you guys consider just automatically turning on the captions in your, your um, talks or lectures, especially if you're doing uh, online lecturing, it seems like a no brainer. And like I said, you know, you've got these different options. So um, like uh, if you go back to your settings, right, I can do below slide, which was the default. And if I go back to start the talk, um, then you'll notice here the screen, right? There's a little gap built in at the bottom and then there's just captions right below. And so by using this setting, right, it lowers the size of your screen, but it ensures that the captions are not going to be overlapping with any, you know, part of your presentation. So, you know, in the future, what I think I'm going to start doing is just building in that space at the bottom of my PowerPoints to allow for captions. Um, but for like this class that I'm just about to record right now, which is for a distance ed class I'm teaching next semester, I'm going to, um, just do it, do it like this. Anyway, hope you guys found this useful. Bye-bye.